ready to go back, way back to 1971 with Action Jackson, Big Jim and G.I. Joe. Oh, plus there's a vintage box opening. Hello and thank you again for popping in. Uh, before I start, I'd like to say a big thank you for everyone who's caught up with my last few videos I've done and the lovely comments and the likes that I've gotten as well. It's very much appreciated. Thank you for that. So today I'm going to do what I said with my uh, boy toy show and tell review that I'm doing with Action Jackson, Big Jim and G.I. Joe. Um, there were some great action figure play sets that... Excuse me, just for a sec. Yes, hello caller. No, they're not dolls. No, they, they're action figures. Figures. Yeah, that's right. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Actually, that's a good point. They, the term action figure actually started, I think, back in 1977 with Kenner. Okay. Back in 1977 <laughs> with Kenner and uh, with the Star Wars line when they started promoting them as action figures. But this unopened package here of a Mego clone, copy, whatever you want to call it, actually has action figures. What is it? Commando, com combat figures, which I'm sure this would be before 1977 because of the groovy early 70s artwork. So anyway, that's debatable. But they're action figures from then and always will be action figures and not dolls. So let's just get that out of the way. Oh, also, back in the... Uh, 77, 78, when Star Wars released the big action figures, Dad brought me home the Darth Vader, the Luke Skywalker, the C-3PO, the R2-D2, and a Princess Leia, which I loved, but I was too embarrassed to have a girl doll, so I sold it, which I regret to this day. But anyway, that's just a thing at the time, I guess. So, um, back to these. Action Jackson, 1970, 71. Action Jackson. Cue music. <laughs> Thank you. And such a cool line. I don't have much of it. I have a few of him. But, um, and I have a few scattered remnants of clothes, but not too much. Um, I got him when I first started school, about 1970, so must be 70. And um, this is, I think this is my original one or him? Oh, it must be him because he's loose, so I've got to fix him, which you could easily do with you because they're elastic, fully held together with elastic. And mum like fixed him once, and this is like her work way back then, so that's lasted pretty well, 40 something years. We won't go into that. And this is Action Jackson in his speeder outfit, I think it is. He came with many, many outfits, as the commercial says, whatever you want to be, call on me, Action Jackson. Then that's what you could do. He was a firefighter and uh, everything. And as I said, I used to have a lot of the outfits over the years. Earlier on, they disappeared. This is a wider from the all Mego, made by, by Mego, of course. He did the Star Trek line and then... Um, the TV shows and, and all that at the time. The, the Western series, this is Wyatt Earp. He's in an Action Jackson outfit. And then, to coincide to make a girl line, they brought out Dynamite. I got these girls at car boot fairs, at car fa uh, vintage toy fairs. I didn't have them at the time. But um, she was the girl com um, to come out to go with him. They were boyfriend and girlfriend, I used to say. But um, she had a lot of the same play sets they had action jackson had a beautiful which i did have uh the jungle house play set which was a rehash of the planet of the apes jungle house and um which i won't go into because it breaks my heart but it it, it got thrown out but I, I la 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 um and she had a groovy beach house which was the same design the same frame but it had apart from his is brown and, and tan male, masculine sort of uh, colouring. She had the bright orange and the bright swirly 70s yellow. So, um, yes. And this is her done up as a nurse in her nurse's outfit with no shoes. And I guess she's getting a ride to her beach house. But yeah, there's just three dynamites there. Um, she did come with some different stuff from Action Jackson, but um, a lot of it was, was the same. And then, also, Evil Knievel, he's from about 1975. Uh, he came with some great play sets. There was a, a, a van and all different range of motorbikes, a stunt car and a rocket bike. 
and I got this Christmas 1975 and opened him up and then I went looking for the bike and the the launcher set that he came with and, and with nothing else I only got him but then to mum and dad's credit that was the year I got $6 million man so this was just like a side toy and $6 million man was the main one so never got anything else but I've still got him and I got him at a toy fair I don't know why I wanted another one but I just got another one it was cheap enough I think and I also have uh, this is a copy mega clone whatever you want to call it still in the box but the box is damaged um, I was just going to open him up and have a look for the first time in probably 40 whatever years so look at the cool is that you got that the cool artwork on that very early 70s I love it but as you can see the box is damaged and squashed so I was going to keep him in it but I've noticed online everybody else opens up damaged boxes so so am I so let's slice her open. First time in 40 something years, I'm presuming. Oh, that was easy. Well, that comes open really easily. That blue must be out. Okay. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh. oh, he's got a gun! And a hat. <laughs> Gotta have a sniff. Mm, just smells old <laughs> but he has got look at that face he's got a really cool sailors outfit on and he's got the same points of articulation as action Jackson hands are a little different though but that doesn't matter I actually quite like his hands he can't hold a gun or anything but he's in the Navy as long as you can swim. So let's have a little look. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same as. Uh, what can I get too easily? Here we go. Oh. Oh, without fully undressing them, I don't want to do that. The bodies are. Similar. So yeah, I'm presuming it's not held together with elastic. That's the difference. It's actually the, the joint and socket set. So, okay, I'm actually quite pleased with that. That's really cool. And I'm sure he'd probably fit the same clothes. I think he's better looking than Action Jackson anyway. So yes, welcome to 19, no, what is it? 2018. <laughs> And yeah, oh, and his gun, let's see if his hat fits. Well, this hole so you can put elastic or something, but... In the Navy, yes, you can serve the seven seas. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think the gun works. Do they carry rifles in the Navy? I don't think so. Do you think I would have sort of learnt that when I was in the Coast Guard? But no. And then what else do we have? Um, that's it. That's my box opening, my new Axe and Jackson Mego copy, who I'm very actually glad I opened up now. I'm going to keep that box because I think the artwork's really cool. And... And... <laughs> I think, well, I'm ready to go on to Big Jim. Doink. Doink. First of all, before, before I get into Big Jim, I forgot to mention this beautiful Jeep. Um, it's not an Action Jackson Jeep, but I got it at a car boot sale. It was missing some bits, but um, like the windscreen, but it fits them perfectly. So for display purposes, I think it's great, but I just wanted to mention that in case you were curious. Thank you, Mamacita. Thank you. Big Jim um, from 1973 Mattel, um, a beautiful line. Um, his, this is the 1972 Olympics Big Jim, which I got off my, for my birthday that year in 1972. And he's in his green and gold Australian outfit, still with his medal. Um, he does have other green and gold, um, there's a gown and 
shorts and uh, I just can't find them right now, but I've got, there was a whole set that came with this, which is beautiful. And then of course, at the same time, he came with a ski jump and there were other Olympic sports things, but that's the original. And karate action, of course, with all big gyms and where's the short sleeved one? This one with his, can you get that mamacita? His bicep goes up and down, up and down. He's actually got a metal band that goes around that you can pop off. But that was his big selling feature. He could chop and come through and do all this other stuff, which is great. And also, oh, this here is Big Josh. No, no, <laughs> sorry. This is Big Josh over here. I think he's better looking with the beard. And that was his buddy. And he comes with this cool camping backpack, which talks. Let's go fishing, pal. We better scout the trail. Okay, you cook the fish. Bring the boat and fishing gear. Okay, you cook the fish. Let's go fishing, pal. They did love their weekends on Breakback Mountain. But anyway, and then of course, which leads me to, let's go fishing. The amazing Big Jim Sports Camper. I, I have been in love with this ever since the day I got it. This, it's got a sliding panel, which oh, slides across here, of course, with the cool retro mod 70s decor, which I love. And then there's inside of it, I don't know, can you get that, Mama Sita? Can you get inside? Mm hmm And there's a pop-down breakfast nook with a stove and a fridge, uh, sorry, sink. And if you turn it around... That pops up. Now, I did lose the proper supports for this, but a skewer comes in handy, so it sort of stays up like that. Um, it's almost complete. The boat that came with it broke probably the first week I had it because it was such thin plastic, but he's borrowed G.I. Joe's raft with all just in case, so that fits perfectly. Um, that's Josh's axe. You get the idea. Oh, well, he's chopping something else, but not wood. Well, and um, this chair doesn't come with it, but it works. The beautiful camping set with the rotisserie chicken, which was from another set which I added. They they, they shot duck earlier on, so actually they're, they're cooking duck. With the set, replacement legs, they didn't last the 40 whatever years. The chairs, the two original plates. Um, what is missing? The fishing pole and the motorbike stand, and the window, the, the, the plastic window which flipped up, broke within the first month of the hinge, it just never had that for very long. But, um, what else? Also, the other place that I, I partially have, this is the great swamp alligator. What do you call these things? What are these things called, audience? Raft. It's not a raft. No, they hover over the swamp, uh, over the I Everglades. Mean, um, with the big, the, the big engine with the, the things missing. With the hovercraft. big craft. hovercraft, thank you. This is the hovercraft, which is very cool because when you, he goes, well, oh, there we go. If you push it along, the alligator still moves and his mouth opens, it's so cool. Because you take him off with this thing underneath and you push him along. I can't do it on this table. There we go. See that? Still works. Love it. So yeah, that's the Everglades Swamp missing the back of it, which if anyone's got a spare one, please let me know. I'd love to have it complete. And um, that's my Big Jim collection. Big Jim was a very popular line. As I said, it went from about 1971 to, to um, into the 80s, mid 80s it lasted, when he went all spacey and 
Astronauti. And that's one of the vinyl sleeping bags. I think it came with two, but being vinyl and slipping them down here, they just ripped all the way along, that's been repaired, but that's one of the sleeping bags that it came with anyway. Um, talking about the play sets, yeah, went through to the 80s. Um, he changed from a man of outdoorsy kind of sporty guy to a out of space secret agent kind of guy. Um, and that worked for a while um, until Star Wars pretty much came out. He sort of died in America, but kept going in other countries like Italy and um, Spain and that area of the world. Um, I, I desperately wanted, there was a, 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 a Rhino Jeep play set, which was great. He had a rescue rig vehicle play set. He had a boat, he had a sand dune buggy. Uh, some beautiful stuff, which I wish I had, thanks mum and dad, but didn't. But, um, <laughs> no, I wasn't spoiled. But, um, yeah, Big Jim, a line, which was very, very popular, and is beloved. Toy fairs at South East Queensland suck. But um, anyway, we do the best we can. You don't see stuff like this at garage sales in car booths. So, uh, but yes, that's the end. Um, Mum made me this great shave coat, very 70s shave coat. She made me that, that fits in beautifully. I have to put this jacket on him. I don't know if it was my mum or my auntie Des made this, but this jacket fits him absolutely perfectly. It won't be long. And very quick. And this is his race car. I won't get everything out of the bags, but just to give you a quick look, there's a helmet and there's his NASCAR outfit and he's got a trophy there as well. He's got a heap of soccer outfits and I don't know much about soccer, but they're apparently quite authentic. And that, and that top with those shorts, tracksuit bottoms. And these, these look like basketballs to me. I, oh, and really cool shoes. No, actually. And I don't. Actually, in the seventies, the ball, the soccer balls were uh, orange because made by leather. Oh, I've just been informed by one of my lovely guests that in the early seventies, soccer balls were orange because they were made out of leather. Leather. Well, there you go. So they're not basketballs, they are actually authentic soccer balls. So, you learn something every day. And, now if you're a real toy collector of this era and style, you'll be familiar with the Matchbox brand of, um, they brought out, it was a similar doll, but they were pirates called Fighting Furies. And they had amazing outfits. This was like a um, guns. He came with an eagle. Where's the eagle? It's not ah. Uh, there it is. Can you see that eagle, Mama Cedar? I can't. Oh, there it is. With really cool boots and the glove for the eagle to sit on with his hand. And. We can cut this if it's too long, Mama Sita. Oh, this is like real pirate stuff. This is beautiful. Look at this jacket. Look at that satin. And that's one of those, is it British soldiers? Or like a Confederate jacket. With the obligatory piratey hat. And a cool little box with gold detail on his belt. Can you get that, Mamacita? 
your pirate boots. So, and I, I just, it just takes too long to dress them all up, but um, I may do that in another video. This is, oh, this is like a Spanish outfit. Look at that chain. It comes with a pirate map. Gee, that's held together well. Little pirate map, can you get that? Wear the pirate top. Oh, and like armor. Uh, and an eye patch. Cute little eye patch. And a uh, treasure chest which has treasure in it. Oh. Mama, sit. Oh no, it's alright, I can do it. It's got sticky tape, very old sticky tape while we get together. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. God knows how long this has been in here. Sorry, it's so small, it's just taking me a while to. It's a treasure chest inside a treasure chest. I don't even remember doing that. Can you... Can you see this treasure? Look, there's little candlesticks. There's little silver plate, a little cross, and little coins. I don't know if you can... That's the original treasure from that treasure chest. I bet you none of them exist anymore. Have you got that? Yep. So I'll just carefully... That's why I had it sticky taped all, that, all those years. And then this little tiny treasure chest, which I think I must have split up the treasure. This looks like it came out of a Christmas bonbon. And it probably did. It's faded with age, but the lid's come off. It's a little chest. And there's more. That is so cute. There's little medallions, a little, and coins and a little dish. Just beautiful. So I might as well keep them in there. So that's, yeah, that's a little, nice little find. And This is some um, Chinese warrior. See, see that hat? You'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, I, I can't think of the correct orange shirt. And it came with this cool armor with bows and arrows. So I'm sure there was more to that set, but that's what's here at the moment. And a little cool little knife in its holder. Mongolian, that's the word. I think it's Mongolian, which is pretty amazing for a kid's toy set at the time, very detailed. And this is cowboy in like Western gear. It's very Indian, it's like a poncho thing. I tried to look these up and I can't remember what they were, but it comes with like cool side saddle stuff and Indian belt with a knife and a gun and a holster and an Indian shield and a like a bugly horn thing. And then there's just a black set as well. So, oh, um, I hope you enjoyed all that. I think I've come to the end. That's, um, yep, that's, that's everything. Thank you so much. Um, way more coming up. Keep posted. Um, remember to like, share and subscribe and leave your comments on my post. Good night.